Welcome to NASA Space News, your daily premier source for space exploration, innovation, and astronomy news and updates. SpaceX lifts giant super heavy rocket onto launch stand again. SpaceX's first true super heavy rocket is back on the launch stand. Technicians lifted the 29-engine super heavy vehicle known as Booster 4 onto the orbital launch mount at SpaceX's Starbase site in South Texas. The move came just over a month after the 230-foot-tall, 70-meters Booster 4 was first hoisted onto the pad, then topped with a prototype spacecraft called SN20, short for serial number 20, in the first-ever stacking of a full-size Starship vehicle. The duo was quickly de-stacked, however, so that further work could be performed on both elements. First alarms sounded at the Russian segment of the International Space Station. Fire and smoke alarms went off at the Russian segment of the International Space Station in the early hours of Thursday, and the crew reported noticing smoke and the smell of burnt plastic. Just want to uh, give an update for folks uh, that had heard about a smoke alarm inside the space station uh, last night. Uh, just before 10 p.m. Eastern time, a smoke alarm inside the Russian Zvezda service module did enunciate, uh, waking up the crew, the smoke alarm going off for about a minute. Russia's space agency Roscosmos said the incident took place in the Russian-built Zveda module and occurred as the station's batteries were being recharged. According to Roscosmos, the crew activated air filters and returned back to their night rest once the air quality was back to normal. The crew will proceed with a spacewalk scheduled for Thursday as planned, the agency noted. Rocket Lab wins multi-launch deal for IoT Constellation. Rocket Lab will deploy an entire constellation of Internet of Things satellites for a French startup under a multi-launch deal announced September 8. Rocket Lab said it will launch 25 satellites for Kineas over five dedicated launches starting in the second quarter of 2023. The satellites will provide improved global IoT connectivity services for the company, which is backed by private investors and the French space agency CNES and which raised 100 million euros in early 2020 to develop the constellation. That's it for today. Like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell for all future updates.